Hello friends and family of YouTube. Well today I'm out by a real noisy highway and I'm wanting to show you a sunset trail. Boy this is pretty sweet now. You gonna dig it? Yep this is a sunset trail number 222 RB and this has the extreme weather package. And here is where I'm at today. I am over at Reed Camper Sales. Tell you what let's start on the other side and let me show you around this thing. As I said, we're uh, out here by Noisy Highway, so I'm gonna try to get this done as quick as I can on the outside and get inside where it's a little quieter. So you see we got us a dual axle and we've got a slide on this side. And what I really like is that they put you an awning over the slide to help protect your seals and make sure that no water got in there. And uh, right here is where you can uh, do your water fill for your holding tank. And it does have four corner jacks this uh, particular door is locked but I can show you from the other side what's going on here and you've got one battery installed but you've got enough room for two you've got two propane tanks under this big black cover here and you've got an electric tongue jack as well all right so moving around here let me show you this uh, storage up under here and we've got us a uh, an awning outside here we've also got uh, two speakers outside here as well and we got us an outside kitchen check this out got a little bit of storage down here but you've also got you a sink got you some storage right there to put you some more kitchen goodies got your refrigerator got you a little two uh two burner cooktop and yeah i tell you what let's go inside here get away from this noise so let's go up this three-step entry here see what's going on Well, here we are. This is right where I came in the entry door. And the, my favorite thing already about this particular unit, storage, storage, storage. Look at how much room you've got. They even put an outlet in a closet. Yep, this is a closet with a door. So you've got enough room here. If you have some of those uh, pop-up tents, you could put four pop-up tents just right here. I use those in the flea market industry. So I'm familiar with how much space they take up and I guarantee you, you can put four of them right there. All right, so I'll close this door here. And as I said, that is right by the door entry. I love that that is right there. And while we're staying up here, we'll go ahead and show you the uh, air conditioning duct. You got you a uh, smoke detector up here as well. And you've got a couple of speakers outside and a couple of speakers inside. That way you can, man, you can jam out the whole time you're out on the road. All right, so while we're looking this way, let's go ahead and show you the entertainment center. Now, I do not have the lights on in here, and they do have tinted windows, so it does make it a little bit dark in here. But, the, hey, I'm showing you this thing as you would see it if you came out here shopping for it yourself. I don't work for the company that makes them or the company that sells them. So what I'm trying to do is save you from having to get out here and shop. There's your air conditioner. Yep, I'm trying to make it to where you can be out at work, goofing off at work, and you can watch my videos and shop for you an RV, get paid for it while you do it. Got plenty of drawers there where you can pull those out and store plenty of things. I would get closer, folks, but if I do, my shadow is going to make it even darker. That's a pretty small uh, oven right there. You can put a uh, pizza in there, TV dinner, fish sticks, that sort of thing, but you could not cook a turkey or anything like that. And it does have a three burner cooktop on here. And let's see if we can show you this microwave. All right, it's just a standard with a turntable in there. And you do have some storage here beside. And there's a good size sink here. And the sink, I like how it's got the movable wand. And it is just a single bowl. And let's see if we can see down below. Yep, we do have enough light for that, so there you go. And while I'm still down here, let me see if we can get inside. Yes, we can. We can see what's going on inside the drawers. And I liked how easy these drawers do move and pull. I like that. And they do have a little lock there. That way you don't have to worry about them 
flying open as you're going down the road. And also, I failed to mention a while ago, but the heating is in the floor and the air conditioning is in the ceiling. And the, the bathroom door is open. That is it right here. You can close the, that door, of course, to get you some privacy, but let's go ahead and go in here while we're aiming this way. Got your standard foot flush toilet here, and inside this bathroom, you do have some doors to some more storage. As I said, this thing has got a lot of storage. And folks, that sits in there about three foot deep from this front to back of this uh, storage section. That is three foot. What I really like, da -da -da -da, they gave you one of these great fans in the bathroom that every, every company should be using. Do not get one of those cheap little fans. I complain about them in every video. But there's people that have never seen my video, so I like to always try to point it out to everybody. I like everybody to be fully informed. Got storage up underneath the kitchen, I mean the bathroom sink. And you've got a, got a corner shower unit, and this has got magnetic doors. You can take these doors, and once you pull them tight, look at there, they stay together. We are sitting on a slope, so it's easy for these things. If they were not magnetic, they would just come right open, and as you're showering, water would come all over the floor, but they thought of it and gave you a little nice uh, magnet strip on, on there to save you from having to worry about that. And they also gave you an area right over your head to give you a little extra room so that as you're showering, you taller guys, y'all definitely don't have to worry about banging your head on something. And you've got about a foot and a half of storage deep in here as well. So you could put plenty of clothing in here also. You've got plenty more storage in there as well. All right, so now let's go into the living room. Okay, this dinette here, you can take this table just like you can on most any model, and that table will break down and make into a bed. You can make this whole area here a bed, and uh, two smaller people can sleep on there and uh, should be able to sleep comfortably. What I do like is you've got windows all the way around on this particular slide so that as you are sitting here at the table, you can definitely admire the view that you've got there, so that's pretty nice. One of those things to keep in mind when you do get out camping is what kind of view do I want from my RV? And you also got a little bit of storage down below underneath the uh, dinette. And let's see what we got going on in this refrigerator, freezer, nor cold combo here. Got you a little bit of room in the freezer for your average stuff. And what I like here is they made a cutout and you can put you a uh, Put you a two liter right there, or you can put you a gallon of milk. And you've got a crisper section below. Put you uh, any fruits and vegetables. And you've got room inside the door here as well to put uh, whatever you might need to. All right, so now let's go to the uh, go to the bedroom area. Now the bedroom does have some sliding doors. Right here, you can see a little strap with a hook there, and that strap has got that door locked. And there's one right there as well. Those are bifold doors, or they're, they're two doors rather that roll to each other to meet up to close this bedroom off. And I should point out that you do have floor duct in here to give you some heat. And you could take this vent right here and put you an air conditioner in there if you wanted to. And over on the uh, each side of the bed, you've got a window and you've also got plenty of storage beside the bed. You've got you a uh, a rod there where you can hang some clothes down and uh, you've got some storage up above the bed as well and let's see if we can lift the bed and see if there's storage area below it yep and it's on a strut system so I only had to lift that with one arm but look at there you've got plenty of room for storing some stuff underneath the bed there How about that Folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this particular unit. I know I did, and uh, 
I did not have a price in here on this particular one, but hey, I know if you go to the website of uh, Reed Camper Sales, you should be able to find a price there on their website. If not, they've got a phone number there for you, and uh, they'll be able to tell you the price of it and answer any questions you might have. Hey, leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you like this one as much as I did. Hey, it's a, it's a pretty nice size uh, RV, especially for a small family. Uh, definitely be able to get the job done. You got plenty of storage in here and uh, very spacious. Folks, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Hope y'all had some fun. I know I did. See y'all real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.